Hey guys, Profe Pablo here. I appreciate all of your patience. I finally found a fix for really laggy computers or devices. So this is me on my PC and you could just see from the video how extremely laggy this is. But you'll notice uh, that none of the sugar cane is breaking and I simply had to change to a different repeater clock. So this is the repeater clock where you put a little bit of redstone uh, down below and then above that you put a block and then you put another block with a repeater pointing into the first block then you put a block behind that and a redstone torch. Uh, run both of those to the sides. Make sure they're alternating. You might have to break the line to the right to get it on opposite times and it should work just fine. Uh, I'm going to speed up the process here um, because I'm going to lay down some pistons and show you guys that it works with pistons too. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys um, how to hook up the pistons. I would suggest putting them on a separate repeater clock and I'm going to use two repeater clocks here two different ones to show you the difference the second one works really really well um, but this first one's uh, kind of easier to build uh, so first you build this little platform um, out to the side it's not pretty I promise in the next version of the build I'm gonna make this all more compact and more pretty I just wanted a quick fix for you guys in the meantime uh, so you're going to lay down a comparator and then connect that comparator back up. This is the same clock that was giving us trouble with the dispensers, but it will not give you trouble with the pistons. Okay, so um, I just, uh, and you do have to place a block in between, otherwise that first piston kind of messes up. So you just put the redstone over that block and then lay it on top of all the pistons and uh, flip it to minus mode. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Let's try that again. And then flip on the switch. And it gives, it takes it just a second, but it does start spitting out bone meal, or not bone meal, uh, sugar cane pretty quickly. But uh, I want to show you another method, another clock that seems to work better. It makes the pistons move faster, and for some reason that does something to the sugar cane and releases more sugar cane. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next kind of clock. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and break this old other clock. Um, and again, th this clock is the same one that we used below. Uh, what, what you're going to do is place a block down. Um, I'm using wooden blocks. Again, I'll, I'll make this all look pretty in the next build. But in the meantime, this will be very functional. Uh, so go ahead and lay down a block right behind the redstone and place another one above the redstone. Oops, look there, right there, above the redstone. And uh, then you break that. Um, and then you're going to put a redstone torch and by the way you can hook up a lever to either one of the clocks that we just made and turn them off and on at any time uh, let's see i need my repeater this computer is so 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 laggy it drives me crazy okay um and then I mean, you guys made me pull out my PC for this. I mean, I'd love to be able to use my Mac if they had Bedrock on Mac. Uh, you have to make sure that the repeater is facing away from the torch. And you'll see, now you're going to see the, um, it's flying off. It, I mean, it's, it's really starting the zero tick really, really well. Lots and lots of sugar cane. Um, all you have to do is create a contraption. But these, I know those clocks look crazy, but it'll get you through in the meantime until I have another build. Uh, just create a collection system and close it in with glass, and you should be good to go. And it does not break. Thanks for watching.